Good morning and welcome to this Holy Saviour Wednesday Reflection. Disciples and Apostles, what's the difference? In the Bible there are twelve disciples listed and they are Simon Peter, Andrew, Peter's brother, James, the son of Zebedee, John, James's brother, Philip, Matthew, James, Thaddeus, Judas, the son of James, Simon the Zealot, Judas Iscariot, who betrayed Jesus. After the betrayal, he is replaced by Matthias, Thomas and Bartholomew. So what is the understanding of being a disciple, rather than just following along like a wandering group of men, with no purpose? At first they would seem to be a band of misfits. One was a tax collector, not the most popular person to meet. Another was a fisherman, another was a revolutionary. And then there was one who would betray Jesus. These twelve men were called by Jesus for a reason. And that call for them to leave their homes and families must have been very strong. The Greek word for disciple is mathetes, which means they are called to be students who are learning from another in a mentor-like relationship. They are called to be taught in his ways, with him helping to instruct them in what God expected of them. After the resurrection and the ascension, the disciples become apostles. They have been with Jesus, listening to what he has to say. They have learnt from his example and he has shown them what he can do. Now it is time for them to become apostles. The Greek word for apostle is apostolos, meaning who is sent out is for a specific purpose or goal. Christ calls the disciples together and gives them the authority over the spirit world and the authority to heal diseases, and then he sends them out into the world to preach the good news, and to heal the sick. Disciples or apostles, they are the same people, but at different times they are disciples, the learners, and then they are apostles, the people given the goal of taking the gospel out into the world. Can you think of a modern day apostle, a person who is called to spread the gospel? An example from the past might be the evangelist Billy Graham. And maybe the gospel can be proclaimed by the way we live our lives trying to live in the way that Jesus taught us. I expect there are many other examples. The hymn that I have chosen for today is Ye Watchers and Ye Holy Ones. Thank you for listening to me this morning. Mm -hmm.